Hi, I'm Mary, and we're going to be taking a trip to the Austrian city of Vienna, where croissants came from. A croissant is a buttery, flaky pastry inspired by the shape of the Austrian kipferl, but using the French yeast leavened laminated dough. Croissants are named for their historical crescent shape. I picked up this croissant um, from a nearby bakery called A La Folle. Um, and when making croissants, there are five main steps. The first part of the process is blooming the yeast. This part of the procedure is when you add warm milk, since this process requires yeast. Yeast activates and at an accelerated work when mixing with warm liquid. That is why it's important to add warm milk rather than cold milk. This causes the dough to rise more efficiently. Next, you make the dough. This step is when we add the salt and the flour to the bloomed yeast. Salt works to tighten the gluten strands present in the bread, allowing for a stronger dough which is needed to make the croissants last. Next we prepare the butter, wrapping the butter and flattening it, which means the butter can be arranged a lot easier um, as tight as deconstructed. Now we laminate the dough, which is the main scientific method. Um, Flour and other dry ingredients are water seeking, which seals moisture unless there's a good amount of coating separating the two. Putting the croissant in the fridge allows for the dough to be preserved. Lastly, we bake the croissant, and when baking the croissant, the heat causes water to evaporate and create steam pockets. Heat also dentures the proteins from the dough, causing them to leave a shell around the pockets. Croissants can have many added toppings, but they all are made the same way with these steps. I highly recommend um, a croissant if you're looking for a flaky pastry snack.